Ever noticed how the more you try to avoid a problem, the bigger it seems to get? Today, we're diving into the power of acceptance and the concept of what you resist persists to help you navigate life's challenges with more ease and resilience. Have you ever felt stuck, unable to move forward because of a problem that just wouldn't go away? We've all been there. It's a universal experience, one that can leave us feeling helpless and overwhelmed. This is the weight of resistance, the struggle against what is. It's the internal battle we fight when reality doesn't match our expectations. But what if I told you there's a better way, a path that leads to peace and freedom? That path is acceptance. Acceptance doesn't mean giving up or resigning to a fate we don't want. Instead, it's about acknowledging the present moment as it is, without judgment. In this exploration, we will delve into the transformative power of acceptance and uncover the truth behind the saying, what you resist persists. By resisting, we give power to the very things we wish to avoid. We will learn how to navigate life's challenges with more grace and ease. Acceptance allows us to flow with life rather than fight against it. Let's embark on this journey together and discover the liberating power of acceptance. Imagine the freedom of letting go of the need to control everything. Resistance takes many forms. It's the frustration we feel when things don't go our way, the anger that flares up in an argument, and the fear that paralyzes us when faced with the unknown. These emotions are natural, but they can become obstacles when we resist them. These are all signs that we are resisting what is. When we resist, we create tension and conflict within ourselves. But resistance is a futile battle. It drains our energy, steals our joy and keeps us stuck in a cycle of suffering. It's a never ending loop that prevents us from moving forward. It's like trying to swim upstream against a powerful current. We exhaust ourselves while getting nowhere. The more we resist, the stronger the current seems to become. We exhaust ourselves while getting nowhere. But when we learn to accept, we can turn around and let the current carry us to new possibilities. When we resist reality, we create a breeding ground for negativity. This resistance can take many forms, from denying our feelings to avoiding difficult situations. Our thoughts race, our emotions spiral, and we find ourselves trapped in a cycle of suffering. It's like being caught in a storm with no shelter where every negative thought fuels the next. We replay past hurts, worry about the future, and fail to appreciate the present moment. This constant mental chatter keeps us from experiencing the beauty and peace that exist right now. This cycle of negativity can manifest in various ways. It can affect our mental health, our physical well-being, and our overall quality of life. We might experience anxiety, depression or anger. These emotions can become so overwhelming that they start to define our daily lives. We might struggle in our relationships or feel unfulfilled in our careers. The negativity seeps into every aspect of our lives, making it hard to find joy or satisfaction. The more we resist, the deeper we sink into this quagmire of negativity. But there's hope. Even in the darkest moments, there is a way out. We don't have to remain trapped in this cycle. There are tools and strategies that can help us break free. Acceptance offers a way out, a lifeline to pull us from the depths of despair. By accepting our reality, we can start to change our relationship with it. By learning to accept what is, we break free from the chains of negativity. Acceptance doesn't mean giving up. It means seeing things clearly and choosing how to respond. We stop fighting reality and start embracing it. This shift in perspective can bring a profound sense of peace and empowerment. This doesn't mean we have to like or condone everything that happens, it simply means we acknowledge it without judgment. In doing so, we open the door to healing and growth, allowing us to move forward with greater clarity and purpose. Acceptance is not about giving up or resigning ourselves to a life of misery. It's about recognizing that fighting reality is futile and choosing to embrace what is. It's about acknowledging our thoughts and feelings without judgment and allowing ourselves to experience life fully without resistance. When we accept what is, we free up a tremendous amount of energy that was previously spent on resistance. This energy can then be redirected towards more positive pursuits such as personal growth, meaningful relationships and creative endeavors. Acceptance is not a passive act. It's a conscious choice we make in every moment. It's a practice that requires courage, compassion, and a willingness to see things as they are, not as we wish them to be. 
Why is it that what we resist persists? The answer lies in the nature of our attention and energy. When we resist something, we focus our attention on it, giving it power over us. We feed it with our energy, allowing it to grow stronger. Imagine a child throwing a tantrum. The more attention you give to the child's behavior, the more intense it becomes. However, if you ignore the tantrum and redirect the child's attention to something else, the tantrum eventually subsides. The same principle applies to our thoughts and emotions. When we resist them, we give them power over us. But when we accept them without judgment, we take away their power and allow them to pass through us like waves in the ocean. Acceptance in action. Acceptance is not a magic pill that will instantly solve all our problems. It's a practice, a way of life that requires patience, perseverance, and a willingness to be present with whatever arises. It's about showing up for ourselves and our experiences with kindness and compassion. We can apply acceptance in all areas of our lives, from our relationships, to our careers, to our personal struggles. When we accept ourselves and others unconditionally, we create a space for love, connection and growth. When we accept our circumstances, we empower ourselves to make choices that align with our values and aspirations. And when we accept our emotions, we allow ourselves to experience the full spectrum of human experience without judgment or resistance. A journey of self-discovery. My journey with acceptance began with a deep struggle. It was a path filled with obstacles and moments of doubt. For years I battled anxiety and depression, feeling lost and alone in my suffering. The weight of these emotions was overwhelming, and I often felt like I was drowning. The more I resisted these feelings, the more intense they became, trapping me in a cycle of despair. It was as if the harder I fought, the deeper I sank. I tried everything to escape my pain therapy, medication, self-help books. Each offered a glimmer of hope, a brief respite from the storm. While these methods offered temporary relief, they didn't address the root of my suffering. They were like band-aids on a deep wound, providing only surface-level comfort. It wasn't until I discovered the power of acceptance that my life truly began to change. Acceptance became a beacon of light in my darkest moments. Acceptance wasn't about giving up or resigning myself to a life of misery. It was about finding strength in vulnerability and courage in facing my fears. It was about acknowledging my pain, my fear, my sadness without judgment. I learned to sit with my emotions, to understand them and to let them be. It was about embracing the totality of my experience, even the parts that made me uncomfortable. Through acceptance, I found a sense of peace and a deeper connection to myself. Facing my demons. Facing my demons head on was terrifying. I had spent years running from my pain, building walls of resistance to keep it at bay. But I realized that those walls were also keeping me from experiencing true joy, love and connection. I started by practicing mindfulness, paying attention to my thoughts and feelings without judgment. I learned to observe my emotions as they arose, acknowledging their presence without getting swept away by them. This wasn't always easy. There were times when I wanted to give in to despair, to numb the pain with distractions. But I kept reminding myself that acceptance wasn't about feeling good all the time. It was about being present with my experience, whatever that experience may be. The freedom of letting go. As I continued to practice acceptance, something remarkable happened. The more I embraced my pain, the less power it had over me. The walls of resistance crumbled and I began to experience a sense of freedom I had never known before. It wasn't that my problems magically disappeared. It was that my relationship to them changed. I no longer saw them as obstacles to my happiness, but as opportunities for growth and self-discovery. The freedom of letting go allowed me to connect with others in a deeper, more meaningful way. I was no longer afraid to be vulnerable, to show my true self, imperfections and all. A case for acceptance. Sarah's story. Let's look at Sarah's story, a woman who found herself drowning in work stress. Sarah, a dedicated teacher, constantly felt overwhelmed by the demands of her job. She struggled to say no, taking on extra responsibilities and working late into the night. The more Sarah resisted her situation, the worse it became. She felt trapped, resentful and utterly exhausted. Her health began to deteriorate and her relationship suffered. She knew something had to change. Sarah's journey towards acceptance began with a simple realization. She couldn't control everything. 
She couldn't force her colleagues to change their behavior, nor could she single-handedly fix the systemic issues within her workplace. Mindfulness, a path to acceptance. Sarah began incorporating mindfulness practices into her daily routine. She started with short meditations, focusing on her breath and observing her thoughts without judgment. She also began practicing gratitude, focusing on the positive aspects of her life and work. As Sarah became more mindful, she started to notice the subtle ways in which she was resisting her reality. She realized that she was holding on to unrealistic expectations, both for herself and for others. She was constantly striving for perfection, which only fueled her stress and anxiety. Through mindfulness, Sarah learned to accept her limitations and to set healthy boundaries. She started saying no to extra responsibilities and prioritizing her well-being. The transformative power of acceptance. The results were transformative. As Sarah embraced acceptance, she felt a weight lift from her shoulders. She was no longer battling against reality, but flowing with it. She found joy in her work again and experienced a renewed sense of purpose. Sarah's story is a testament to the power of acceptance. It's not about giving up or settling for less. It's about embracing reality as it is and finding peace within ourselves. Acceptance is a journey, not a destination. It's a practice that requires patience, compassion, and a willingness to meet ourselves where we are at. Embrace the power of acceptance. As we conclude our exploration of acceptance, I invite you to reflect on your own life. Where are you resisting reality? What thoughts, feelings, or situations are you pushing against? Remember, what you resist persists. The more you fight against reality, the more you suffer. But when you embrace acceptance, you open yourself up to a world of possibilities. I encourage you to share your thoughts and experiences with acceptance. Let's create a community of support and encouragement as we navigate life's challenges together. Embrace the power of acceptance and watch as your life transforms. In conclusion, acceptance is a powerful tool that can help us overcome challenges and achieve growth in our personal and professional lives. By embracing acceptance, we can learn to navigate difficult situations with more ease, resilience and confidence. Thanks for watching. I'd love to hear from you in the comments section. What are your thoughts on acceptance and the concept of what you resist persists? Share your experiences and insights and don't forget to subscribe for more videos on personal development and growth.